I can change your mind in 15 minutes. However, I only have five with this TED Talk, so it's going to be a little difficult to do that here. So I want to tell you about a time when I took a hundred minds in a quarter of an hour and changed them. Take a look at this wordle. What country comes to your mind? These are the answers that we got from students when we polled them right before showing them the short documentary we filmed. If you thought Afghanistan, I know you didn't see the words, but you're right. <laughs> but the two main words in that wordle are dangerous and hostile, and who said to you that those words describe that country? If you haven't been there, and if you haven't experienced it for yourself, somebody else has already made up your mind for you. My buddies had come over to, to Miami to visit and told me about the work that they did. So at one point I had this little story pop in my head and that said, hey, you should go to Afghanistan. You should tell a story about the humanitarian work that they do over there and how it affects the lives of Afghan people. However, when they came to my house and they just told me about it, it never really impacted me. It never really changed the way I felt about Afghanistan. My takeaway from that is that if you want to change someone else's mind, you have to have your own mind changed first. And that requires vision. Jonathan Swift said that vision is the art of seeing that what's invisible to others. And that's exactly what that little voice was doing in my head. It was starting to create this little vision in my head. Unfortunately, I spend the next month and a half trying to come up with every excuse in the book why I should not go to Afghanistan. Six months later, I find myself preparing to go to Kabul. And in spite of all that preparation, in spite of all that planning, I overlooked the most important thing. All I wanted to do was tell a story. That's it. Just hand the film over and go, here you go. What I never thought about was how that film was going to impact the lives and minds of the people that were going to watch it. Now, vision's important, but it's a far cry from crafting a story that will change anybody's mind. Steve Jobs said that if you don't have passion, any rational person is just going to give up. And that passion will do more for you than fuel your vision. It will get you through the obstacles that you're inevitably going to face. It's also going to silence the naysayers that you're bound to run into. But most importantly, passion is going to let you craft a story that's worth sharing. My story starts halfway around the world at 8,000 feet elevation kneeling in the middle of a snow-covered airstrip at 25 below zero with a plane racing at me and it's going to pass me about with four feet over my head. Now, for some of you, that may sound like a nightmare. For me, hands down, it's the best day at work ever. My favorite definition of an artist is someone who refreshes your vision. Now, vision is great, and passion is essential. But it takes more than just having this idea. You need some kind of force that translates that idea into action. Passion can do that for you, but you need to work on this. You need to get your idea out there. You need to get your idea to life. Gary Vaynerchuk tweeted the other day that said, all ideas are great and even good but you have to actually execute on them for them to matter. The Afghans have a saying that says, your aspirations are in heaven, but your brains are in your feet. In other words, take your head out of the clouds, get off your butt, and get going. In order to change minds, you need to have a story that you breathe life into or aspire into. 
before it can change the minds of or inspire your listeners. About a year later, we're back into the auditorium full of students that have just finished watching On Wings of Hope. And here's where I get surprised. You've all heard stories that give you goosebumps, or you've seen a movie that's made you cry. But I've never had a, any kind of measurement on how my art has changed anyone's mind. Remember the wordle that you're going to see now for the first time? <laughs> These are the answers that the kids had before they watched the movie, before they saw the film. Now imagine 15 minutes are over, they're done, the movie's finished, and we ask the same question. What do you think about when you hear Afghanistan? And here's where I get surprised. Dangerous and hostile transforms into poor and difficult. If you want to master the art of changing minds, follow your vision. It will transform the way you tell stories. Fuel your passion. It will refresh the way that you share reality and act on your ideas and aspire your stories to inspire. A passionate story that's told from your heart can change a thousand minds forever. And that's the art of changing minds.